Hunter Biden's case is now in the hands of the jury. After closing arguments wrapped in his criminal gun trial on Monday, he faces felony charges that include lying about his drug use on a gun purchase form in 2018 and illegally possessing the revolver he bought for 11 days. He's pleaded not guilty. The federal government case is the first criminal trial of a U.S. president's child. It's offered an intimate view of the younger Biden's years of struggle with alcohol and crack cocaine abuse, which prosecutors say legally precluded him from buying a gun. Last week, Hunter Biden's ex-wife, former girlfriend, and sister-in-law all testified about his drug use. In the prosecution's closing arguments, a government attorney said common sense understanding of the grim testimony of Hunter Biden's constant drug use filled in any gaps in evidence about his behavior around the time of the gun purchase. The defense, meanwhile, compared the government's case to the work of a magician who focuses attention on drug use for months or years before the gun purchase to create the illusion Hunter Biden was a user of crack cocaine when he bought the gun. The sentencing guidelines for the charges against Biden are 15 to 21 months. But legal experts say defendants in cases similar to his often get shorter sentences and are less likely to be incarcerated if they abide by the terms of their pre-trial release.